We're now going to look at how to change the actual colors in footage. In the film industry, they refer to this as color grading. So I have this clip from Artbeats.com, a tremendous stock video company that has these really high quality clips like this that you can purchase and use. And what we're going to do is change the feel of this by adjusting its colors. For this, I'm going to use the color balance effect. And so I'm going to search for it in effects and presets panel and add it to my footage. Now to really take advantage of color balance, you got to know a little bit about color theory. It might take some getting used to it first, but it'll make sense soon. Basically, when we're dealing with color in video, we deal with three channels, red, green, and blue. And so color balance allows us to mix red, green, and blue in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Now let's say you want yellow. Well, the opposite of blue is yellow. So if we increase the highlight blue balance, we'd add more blue to the highlights. If we took it into negative values, we'd be taking blue out of the highlights, thereby adding yellow, its opposite. The opposite of green is magenta. The opposite of red is cyan. So I'm gonna click reset here. First, let's add a creepy feel. What I'm gonna do is increase the shadow green balance and the shadow blue balance. And we can do that same thing with the midtones and the highlights. Now the thing is, because we're increasing these values so much, we're actually ending up with a lighter image, which isn't super scary. So what we wanna do is decrease the red balance. Remember the opposite of red is cyan, which is basically a combination of green and blue. So as we drag this to the left, we see some real creepiness here. So we start taking the red out of stuff, and this is what's going on. And actually, let's go ahead and reset the effect and start over again by just taking out the red balance, making everything cyan. And then occasionally here and there, maybe we could add some uh, green to uh, the shadows and, and midtones here. Very creepy. So let's click this effects icon and see the before and the after. And this is why they do color grading in the movies, because this says there's redemption. There's something uh, sacred and holy and wonderful here. Relax, be at peace, there's comfort. There's all these warm tones, tons of uh, yellows and, and reds and stuff like that. And those are typically comforting colors. As we turn on color balance and we see this place that should be comforting, but it's green and blue, green, the color of sickness. Typically, this is used for creepy movies when they want to scare you. So this is definitely a, a different video clip. Now let's go ahead and click reset and let's enhance the warmness. Let's go ahead and take out green, which will add magenta, and take out blue, which will add yellow. In this way, we can darken the clip and we can add more warmth. So this is a good way to create kind of like a nostalgic, like an antique feel for what's going on. Things in the 70s, uh, at least for film, photography, everything tended to be a little bit yellowy. So having these warm colors kind of creates this nostalgic vintage look. And maybe it's a little bit too red, so we might want to put some more green back in this. The opposite of green being magenta, kind of like pink. So we can do that. And there's the before and the after. So this kind of looks normal. This looks vintage. So those are just a couple ideas of things that you can do with color balance to change the emotional tone of your footage. In the next movie, we'll look at adding color to black and white objects and effects.